Good morning. This week we're off on another adventure and this is by far my biggest one to date. If you've clicked on this video, you probably have a little bit of an idea. The Kalula Great Walk is a beast. It's five days long on trail, so that means four nights in tents. There's uh, no hotels out here, folks. This is camping. And I, I mean, I have camped before, but I've never had to really be accountable for everything on my back, setting up, collapsing everything, eating, cooking. This is gonna be a first for me, so I'm pretty stoked to be out here to test myself. This has really been on my bucket list for about a year. And I'm finally here. This is about the first, uh, we're probably two Ks in to be quite honest. Uh, and I can hear the ocean, so I know we're getting close. It's gonna be a great week weather-wise. We've got sun pretty much all week except for Saturday. So stay tuned for a little bit of rain, but we're prepared for that. So hopefully you can come along for the journey as I document the whole thing. You can come along for the adventure. So let's get into it. Walking on the beach has been great, but because of all these cars like this, all the four wheel drives are just churning up the sand. So it's becoming really soft. It's actually pretty hard to walk. My legs are fucked already. So I'm gonna try and I think over, actually just a little bit off the beach, the, the official track runs parallel with the sand. So I'm gonna, in about another kilometer, jump back up onto land I think or firmer land anyway give my legs a little rest Woo. this is incredible to have a look at this just mind blowing what a day for it too Queensland has turned it on So I've ducked back off the beach about 50 meters onto the, the official track. And uh, I think I like the beach a bit better, to be honest. It's a little bit easier on this side. It's a bit firmer underfoot, but it appears that it's been hit by a bushfire in the past. So all I'm seeing is a lot of green regrowth and vegetation when I could be looking at the waves and the sand I don't know, it just seems a bit un-Australian not to be walking on the beach. I might give this another 10 minutes and uh, dart back over. What do you reckon? We've made it to our first campsite. The Bramini Walkers Camp is what it's called. I hope to God that there is water here because I've already drank two liters, all my water. Oh, there is a God. There's a water tank. Oh. Please be water.
So there we go, first day done. We ended up walking 23 k's today. It's only supposed to be 17, so I don't know where that last six came from, but I am corked. My legs are so sore, and I'm pretty sure I've got a blister. So it's only quarter past four. I'm gonna try and get about an hour's sleep, just so I can uh, get some energy back to cook some food. I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> Good morning, here we go on day two. So last night didn't quite go as planned. As you know, I went to bed at uh, 4.30, set my alarm for 5.30 to get up and cook dinner while there was still a bit of daylight. But I was so knackered that I slept right through till 6.30. Everyone that knows me knows I just love to sleep, so I probably snoozed the alarm and just kept going through. So when I got up, I uh, had to cook dinner in the dark under torchlight, so that was, yeah, look, navigating my first night's dinner on a campsite I didn't really know, hadn't even had a really good walk around, it was a nightmare. There were definitely some uh, lessons to be learned from last night. Don't fall asleep, naps, not good. Anyway, so day two, we're kicked off. We've got 20 Ks today. We're going over the, the famous sand patch in about 5Ks, which I'm really looking forward to. Rained a little bit last night, but again, true to form, it's looking like a beautiful day. So this should be a good one. coming up to the section of this track that they call the Kalula Sand Patch. I'm pretty stoked to get out here actually because I've just passed the couple and they said it's uh, there's no wind, it's a beautiful blue day. It's gonna be spectacular. So I cannot wait to get the drone up in the air and see this baby from the sky. And the sand patch marks roughly halfway of today's stretch, which is good because my feet are, oh, the blisters. It's happening. So I'll be looking forward to getting to camp tonight. That is for sure. So let's get out there. This is insane. I can see why they call this the sand patch because I've never seen anything so big. The lens is probably doing it no justice. It's just absolutely enormous. I feel like I'm just miles from civilization being out here. Well, I am, but it feels like Mars or something. Wow, we. I'm gonna have lunch out here. I, I just don't want this actually to end. <laughs> this is insane. That is day two done. I'm gonna, I've just made it into camp. I'm gonna go set up my tent and I, uh, I know I said I wasn't gonna have a nap, but uh, I might take half a, because my legs are smoked and the old shoulders are getting a little bit sore. But I'm gonna leave the video here. This is day two complete, part one. 
I'm gonna do a part two video of day three, four, and five of this trek, so watch out for that. If you did like this video, give us a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. And as always, if you've made it this far, I really appreciate you watching. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.